You ever met J-Man? Never met J-Man. Because, you know, they say that you and Lil Reese cousins, and then J-Man and Lil Reese cousins. But me and Lil Reese cousins from a different, like, we, like, like, from, 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 like, some random shit that, like, just happened late in life. They knew each other back in the day. Oh, so, right. like, he, like, I'll tell y'all some funny shit that the piss Lil Reese off. I, I piss Lil Reese off right now. He might even get pissed off because he don't even take, he don't even, like, I don't, I don't think Lil Reese get bothered by me, like, because I fuck with him and he know, like, it's genuine. I him. You know, honestly, but, he doesn't seem like he cares about anything. Like, like people ask him the craziest like shit, he's just kind of whatever. He, he like this. On BD, no, nah, I don't know. I gotta do my research. <laughs> exactly. Like, no, nah, we ain't doing the homework on BD. So, like, uh, uh, I'll tell you some, a fun fact about me and Larise. I love Larise. So, remember when that shit happened? When he got jumped? Mm -hmm. I think I was the first person that got called about this shit. Because, like, some, how Chicago go, somebody just sent me some random shit. Like, Rico, don't, like, don't put this out. Um, what the f y'all tweaking on Fonda Gray? And I think like, and then, like he, I think I must have watched his story. He instantly like, man, cause we do talk on the phone. He instantly called my phone. BD cuss, what you know? I mean, you know I know everything, man. Hey man, f all that where they at? <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck all that where they at? <laughs> f you talking about? So what, you know the guys who jumped him? Everybody didn't like. They was like fake trying to like. I know the whole situation. I, I the whole situation got broken down to me. Was this what happened? He was at a party one time, and this one nigga was at the party. It was an all BD party. The one nigga at the party, he was GD as f They said, Lil Reese, when Rand being a party, told the whole party he was GD, so the whole party got the clutching on him. Like, so now he felt awkward as hell, and they made him leave the party and shit. So he had a grudge against Lil Reese. So then one time he saw Lil Reese early in the morning, and he tried to get his get back. Right. At the gas station. And then I saw, I just saw Lil Reese early, and Lil Reese, and Lil, and I, Lil Reese said, like, he could have pressed the button up in the party, but he didn't. And then that's how like, end up dude come getting the get back. We're trying to do some funny shit, you know what I know? Yeah. But the Reese ain't go like no, like I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but like I know the Reese was like, the Reese really be outside. Like a lot of niggas don't be outside for real, like with this rap shit and his like Chicago drill culture shit. Like Reese had a chance to move a thousand times. He liked the trenches. Like he, well, he told us he moved to Texas. You got it. He probably did now, but think about what all had to happen for him to move to Texas. Like he had to do. A, well, he, he got probation a, out there. Right? He got been through a lot, like before he moved to Texas. But as far as being in Chicago outside, well, Larissa, you will see him like mm -hmm. traffic, SRT truck. He not playing. Like yeah, he ain't going. I mean, like you got to think. You got to be able to hold your own where we from. Like even me, you will see me in Iraq. See, like even I still go to Iraq. Still go give me some heroin. Still go to home to hold. Give me a sandwich. You know, like. It's, it's, it is what it is to y'all. It ain't shit to me because I live here. But when you go and take a photo on 63rd, how many security you got with you? Shit, I might just take me an Ewall. <laughs> no, Ewall, a different breed. Ewall, you shoot, Ewall, you jumping away. It's Ewall. Go the other way. But you were like 6'9", you jump right back in the car, get the oh, out of here. No. I'm going to chill for it. One thing about me, you want to hear the difference between when they try to make 6'9 shit with me? This is what they get mad at. I always went live with these places. I always gave you a chance to come do some shit to me. I never like waited till later. Like even when the sixty third, like I used to tell people, I don't reason why they say that because I used to fuck them up with like I get on a nerve, I go live, walk from old block to Cottage Grove, nigga. Niggas talking my shit and nothing used to be happening or they nothing from the thing about happening. So it was like I went like six nine, six nine and go make a video today and post the shit a week from now in the like and like preparation, like uh, okay, or like premeditated. It'd be like premeditated, like I bet I'm me. I'd be so boozed. I'm doing this shit right then and there. I didn't think about the consequences later. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. Like that was me being naive. I had to like grow up. How you feel when Mama Duck said that? Uh, you already know where I'm nah, going. Nah, go ahead. That, how you feel when Mama Duck said that? Uh, that Doug actually tried to get you killed. <laughs> she said that. Was that on live interview? Who no, nah, I wasn't on the interview. It's a clip. I think you've seen the clip before. She, she said that? Oh, my God. Carlton? Tried to hurt me, Ronnie? No, maybe so. I don't know. I can't. I don't remember. If he did, it didn't work, bitch. Pretty well. <laughs> it didn't, <laughs> if he did, it didn't work. Okay, now, bullshit to the side. All right, let's be real here. Come on, let's take You it. heard that before, though, right? You seen the clip where she said it? Yeah, I saw the clip. I know you seen it. <laughs> yeah, I ain't, I ain't approve of it. Cause I saw some other police shit she said too. I ain't approve of that shit. But anyway, how can I be respectful? Cause I got a mama. Mama and my mama said she had beat her ass. I swear to God, I'll call mom right now for yep. the time. Mama said she had beat her ass. And mama like 60 something. Mama like, 
I beat that bitch ass. I say, nah, mom, you cool. You gonna be that. Maybe set it up on November third. Okay, my mama mom breaks mama duck. Come on, come on, knock mama duck the fuck out. But anyway, though. <laughs> All right, bullshit aside, <laughs> I, I want to show respect to her because at the end of the day, I got a mama. So, like, and right. certain people get mad at me, like, bro, you be dissing folks' mama. She's folks' mama. But I'm like, she chasing that shit, though, gang. They say, bro, it don't matter, bro. This folks' mama. I say, bro, so she can chase that shit. They say shit like she's saying, I ain't supposed to say nothing. Okay, let me tell you the problem I got with Mama Duck. Because okay. she don't want to give me no head or or, or, or no pussy. This nigga said some head. Okay, so. <laughs> I don't want it no more, though. But I did back when I was disrespectful. Right? Just the only I'm not disrespectful no more. I'm. Everybody hates records out right now. That's all. I'm not disrespectful records no more. But that CD a little disrespectful though. You heard that one song when I said yeah. it? I got, got wild on it. Hey, and that, I swear to God, there's got to be some disrespectful songs on that CD. <laughs> but my new CD coming out going to be way better. Cool enough a hell to it. It'll be out in like two weeks. That'll be better than everybody has records. That was just for other people that want to get mad at me. But anyway, Mama Duck, my problem with her is she hops on this computer and she want all these niggas to go down for some shit that your son was doing too. And me personally... You sometimes gotta call a spade a spade, and sometimes you gotta just chalk it up as fair game. Okay, if your son was trying to kill him, in this game of cat and mouse that we play in Chicago, your son, was, <laughs> if you just said on camera that he was trying to kill me, regular old Ronnie, I'm not on nothing at all. Remember, I'm, I'm, I'm Ronnie, I'm not on nothing, so why would you wanna kill me if I'm not on nothing? Think about that part. It hit different on it. But anyway, though, if, you don't, if I'm not on nothing, why you try to kill me? But it can't do it, though. Anyway, so if you. Why you want to tell on folks and them because they caught him before he caught them? Because obviously he was playing this game of the Hunger War games in Chicago. So, I mean, he probably tried to kill them numerous times. And then they just caught him and killed him. Instead of you being a 100 person and just saying, you know what? My son wasn't the best person. He's in the wrong. Y'all in the wrong. Just because my son got took from me, I'm not going to take y'all from, from, uh, from y'all mama. Now, y'all can apologize or we can find a way to kumbaya this shit. If, if, if fucking High Point and Melvin can fucking be, try to be cool and, and, and are they brothers killed each other or like the both of them lost their brothers and all type of shit, then I think she should kind of be like, just, I think she should just be like, look, I know what type of shit, but then my son, what oh, the fuck you calling me? Stop calling me. Can I answer during the interview? I right, look, I'm I'm right here doing a, uh, look, I'm doing an interview right now with uh with fucking no jumper. You wanna say hi? You ain't never met Adam. Say hey to Adam. Hi. Say hey to Remo. What up, what up? Hi. How you doing? Hey, hey to Big Goon. You sleep with this man? Yeah, this she she sleeps <laughs> yeah, she sleep with me every night, okay? Like she she at the house right now, okay? Like How dare you? Right, I'm doing an interview right what now, is baby. That Let like? me call you back. Okay. Okay. All right, but anyway, yeah, I answered because I saw an interview one time. They were like girls like, oh my god, he answered during the interview. I need that type of love. So yeah, now your hoes gonna suck my but anyway though i just feel like on some 100 shit though uh just call just call it fake i'm not saying i know this your son but you know what he was into obviously if you say he tried to do something to me because i don't know i don't recall you trying to do nothing to me like if he did he ain't do a good he ain't do a good job he ain't halfway do a good job he couldn't have pissed longer than me he couldn't have stayed in the mirror longer than me. He couldn't live longer than you. <laughs> no, I'm trying to be disrespectful, but goddamn, you gotta get that sometime. But so if you felt like if you that mean that sometime whenever he you thought he did this, he must have came to you and said, Yeah, mama, we tried to kill reckless. And I'ma keep trying to kill reckless. So that mean whoever else he was trying to kill, he probably said this too. So that mean when somebody killed him, you should have just did like well mama, I tell my mama all the time, mama, look, I ain't I love God, mama, but I didn't, like, it's a, like, just never go out like mama duck. If something was to happen to me, knock on wood, which I'm not, I'm, I'm going to live till I'm 90 years old with some long ass dress, like be rich for like Snoop Dogg them or like P. Diddy or like 50 Cent them. But uh, if something was to ever occur, just, like, I did that shit. Like, ain't, that's, I mean, that was God's plan. Don't you hop on the computer trying to make only OnlyFans, trying to suck no dick. Don't hop on the computer trying to motherfucking blame people for some shit that I didn't talk. You know what I'm talking about, though? Because... Why keep the cycle going? Like, I don't like that. Like, I'm this is me. This is not, no funny shit. All funny shit out the window. If you know your son was trying to kill people and you knowing this, right, you saying he tried to do something to me, then, so you know he was trying to kill niggas from old block. You know this already off the rip then because if he tried to do something to little old me, little, little reckless, then you know he was trying to do something to them niggas from the old. So why not just do better for them? Like, you know what? My son learned his lesson. Let me try to do better by 
let's try to bridge the gap now. Let me come, like, let me, like, let me talk to them from old block and then try, like, it's, you want, the, she on that, yeah, y'all finna go to jail. Yeah, I can't wait. Y'all kill my son. Bitch, your son was out trying to play Hunger Games and couldn't fucking make the cut. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about bitch? I ain't showing you no motherfucking respect. Yo ass, your son, like you just said, you should have told the son he was playing with me. His ass should have fucking stopped. His ass when it got dropped. And I don't got nothing to do with that. I'm just saying personally though, like, cause it could have been bad playing with me. Think about that shit. Like, so like it went bad playing with niggas and now you wanna tell I don't like that shit. That shit just rubbed me the wrong way. Like he gave me bad vibes, like snitch vibe. Like she and she has that I'm finna be on the police yeah shit. Like, you think that's cool, you old dry pussy bitch? <laughs> The fuck you think you playing with, ho? Like you tweaking, scud. Like I got respect for the for the elders. I didn't help ladies walk across the street. I didn't help rent ladies with their bags. I didn't help people with their rent. I'm talking about don't disrespect me or the culture by because your son tried to be. You ever seen a nigga got hit on the drill? Shit be looking goofy, said nigga be outside gun laying on the floor because your ass didn't know what the fuck you was doing. That's mm -hmm. how his ass looked it. So it's like you should have. You know what type of songs you was making? You trying to go downtown and shop? You saw what happened doing that? Free move. Yeah, they hate reckless out right now. But I'm saying like, I ain't, I just don't respect that show. And they gonna get mad at me for saying this, but respectfully, I'm telling y'all right now, I'm off the computer, on the computer. I have no beef with this lady. I pray for this lady. I love God. I, I, I look. I go to church every Sunday. I pray to God. I do whatever. But at the same time, I got. I'm not gonna bite my tongue because it's my tongue. If that's biting your tongue, hurt. Why well, I don't want to hurt myself? So it's like. <laughs> I'm just saying that I don't respect that part of her. Like, I really think she kind of cool. Like, you know what I mean? It's like she smoke a lot of cigarettes and maybe she got some good head, but I kind of <laughs> like her. Like, I don't. <laughs> I love her. her. We just I did the interview with her. That's what I'm saying. I, I love being around her. She's a great that's soul. That's what I'm saying. Like, personality. I, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Me personally, I fuck with her. Like, I don't know her to not fuck her. Like, I just say shit to get under your skin because you be saying shit. She keeps saying, Brick knock me out. If anybody know me, if Brick knocked me out, when I would have had a hundred stories, yeah, you about him, I would have said, hey, bro, Brick knocked me out. He never knocked me out. So why you want to lie and make some shit up just to try to discredit? I hate niggas. I di Everybody want to just discredit me. Ask Brick. It's like, can we ask him? <laughs> Call, him. <laughs> Call Brick and see what Brick say. Hey, can, hey, you knock me out? <laughs> I, don't he, I, don't, I, don't he, I don't think he responded. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, and I'm, I'm sorry that I had to do that, but... Just let them live and rest in peace, though, for real. Like, let Jermaine, <laughs> let Carlton, let them rest in peace because Lashina, you obviously did something wrong. And you need to be trying to fix that shit because I see some new one on the computer named Brick Youngster. That's like they supposed to be like their little brother. He barking up the wrong tree. I saw him doing an interview the other day. He barking up the wrong tree. Like, you better stay your little bitch ass in your lane, little boy. You never met me. You don't know me. Nigga, you better go to O Block and motherfucking deal with them niggas before you can come this way with these two eyes because your ass tweaking because we pushing peace over here. But we also scud them fucking, they ass to knock hey, your damn shit up. Stink. Like, I'm, you mad at me because your brother them dead. I have nothing to do with this, though, nigga. I'm mm -hmm. taking care of my kids. You mad at me. But the niggas, this is what I don't like. The niggas that did something to some motherfuckers, y'all ain't doing shit to them, but y'all get mad at me for talking shit all day. High point, you mad because I said fuck them, but the niggas that did shit to them, you ain't did nothing to them. Uh, like, I don't like that. That's like picking your battles. I'll get ready to get into it with whoever, however. Let's pick up out of me. I'm like, man, when I start shit like that, I'm like, man, these niggas are weird. Like, they mad at me for saying fuck Doug, but the niggas that pluck Doug, ain't nobody doing shit to them. We're trying to tell them. Let's rephrase that. They mad at me for saying fuck Doug, but the niggas that pluck Doug, ain't nobody <laughs> doing shit to them. We're trying to tell. Like, what the fuck are we talking about for real? Like, I don't think it is a duck. Like, I, don't even, I think that's a figure of my imagination at some points in my life. Like, what the Was it ever a duck? About? What was it? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, what are we talking about for real? Oh like, my God, what happened to Duck? I think Lashina, she needs to find, you know what she needs to do? Go get her a nice job at Walmart. Because I know old ladies like to work at Walmart when they get old and they get bored. <laughs> Go work at Walmart and shit, and then just hope that, like, you know, they're like, motherfucker don't TB your ass. Your ass. Like, what's that one nigga name? Like, for real, like, like, I don't like disrespect because I get real disrespectful when there's disrespect on the line. Like, so how can I fix this right now? Like, is the way to fix this? Just say sorry. Lashina, I'm sorry. I'm open to go on a date. We can talk. Uh, big less, yo, yo ass a bitch. Yo ass been a bitch. That's Rugal Daddy. I, I lost my respect for you. Stop it, man. Motherfucker gonna smack you in the back of your shit. Big Dale, I fuck with you, though. Who's Big Dale? That's man? Fat Shorty Daddy from like Jaro. I know Fat. But know. he's very he is very respectful in trying to get niggas together for real. Like that's how I, I like he shout out Big Dale. But Big Les and Lashina, y'all got a lot of growing up to do <laughs> on From the Grade because y'all got the game fucked up. Like y'all tweaking on From the Grade. Lashina, okay, all that to say, I think you should just 
Go to trial, because I saw it today. Trial is in 10 days. <laughs> Damn, bitch, what you smoke? <laughs> trial is in 10 days. Uh, I can't wait. No, you need to go there and say this. Judge, I don't want to press no charges, because guess what? My son used to be into this bullshit, and, and just life happened like that. And I feel like that would be so much respectful that you'll get better karma than that. But you won't, why would you want one, any of these niggas to get took from their mama so they mom can feel like how you feel because some shit your son want to do? Like, if they would, if, if, if you would, if they, if, if Carson would have called one of them, you wouldn't have been trying to, you know, like. Yeah. But to be fair, I don't think she can stop it from happening. Like, what, what you mean? Like, like, she can't tell him I don't want to press charges. Yeah, like. but she couldn't. But she also couldn't be. She working with the feds. I heard like she was working with them. Like it wasn't just she was working with them. Like so, she. But your son is doing this too. It's like that's like, that's not fair, bro. Like like freedom, innocent. People from O Block, cause you don't even know if they did it for real. This is all speculation and shit. Yeah. 